Hello, I'm going to demonstrate the bus stop method and this time we're using a larger number, okay, just because we can, okay, If which is, the bus stop method is also called short division, okay. So as we do with all of our different divisions, we are remembering our multiples. So we're doing the multiples of eight because I need to use those to figure out if certain numbers in my um, division can be divided by eight. So eight ones are eight. Eight twos are 16, eight threes are 24, oh, sorry, three eights are 24, four eights are 32, five eights are 40, six eights are 48, seven eights are 56, eight eights are 64, nine eights are 72, ten eights are 80. And because I've looked at my number up here, I think I need to do 11 eights and 88 as well. That's going to be helpful for my rounding. Okay, so I've written down my multiples of 8. Now I'm going to do my mad T. I know that I'm dividing a number, so the number that I'm dividing goes at the top. 87,792 divided by 8. And this number here is going to be smaller than this number there, okay, because I need to break 87,792 into eight parts. Okay, what could be a possible real world situation for this? Imagine there are 87,792 people who've bought tickets to go to the stadium and there are eight stands in the stadium. I might want to know if I have eight catering trucks, um, how many people might each truck be catering for. Okay, that's an example. So my estimate, I need to find a friendly number um, that is similar to 87,792 that I can divide by eight. And I'm looking now at this friendly number down here. So 88 is a lovely number I can use because that's similar to 87,000. So I'm going to go 88,000 is a friendly number that can be divided by 8 because I know 8 11s are 88. So 8 11s are 88 and that was multiplied by 10, 10 and 10. So I do that to the other side as well. So my estimate is 11,000. All right, so I've done my mad T, I've done my estimate and now I'm going down to solve it using my short division. Short division is called short because you don't have to do all your calculations down below. Okay, so 8 is the number of, I am um, cutting the big number into. So I've got 87,792 and I'm dividing that by 8. So the first thing I do is I go this 8 here, which is really eight, um, 80,000, can that be divided by 8? 8 ones are eight, so that's 1,000, sorry, 10,000, eight ten thousands make 8,000, 80,000, okay, then the next one, I have to look at the next digit, so I'm going, can seven to be divided by eight? No, it cannot, okay, so what I'm doing really is I'm going to say, I can't do that, so eight zeros are zero, and I have seven left over, okay, so eight and then I give my 7 over here to the next place. So I've got 77 divided by 8. I'm going to look now and see what is close to 77 but not bigger than 77. So I've got 72. I know that 9 eighths are 72. So I'm going to go eight, 9 eighths are 72. 72 plus 5 makes 77. So now I'm looking at... 59. Okay, so 59 divided by 8. What's a friendly number here? 56 is close, but not higher than 59. So 8 times 7 is 56, plus 3 more makes 59. Now I've got 32 left. So which number on my divisors is friendly? Oh, look at that, 32. So I'm going to say 8 times 4 is 32. And so I think my answer is going to be 10,974. Okay, that's pretty close to my estimate.
okay? So 10,974 is pretty close to 11,000. So I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Now I'm going to go to my check. So I'm going to either use the opposite operation or another strategy. I'm going to use a multiplication to check. So if my if it was 87,792 divided by 8 is, I think, 10,974. If that's what I think it is, I might, I've decided that I'm going to multiply these two numbers to see if I get my total. Okay, so I'm going to do, might do the vertical algorithm today, 10,974, and I'm going to multiply that by 8. So I'm going to go 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 7 is 56, plus 3 is 59, 8 times, what did I do, 8 times 7, now I'm going 8 times 9, did I do that one? Yes. 8 times 9 is 72, 72 plus 5 is 79, is that right? No, 8 times 9 is 72 plus 5 is 77, silly me, okay, 8 times 7, sorry, 8 times 0 is 8 plus 7 is 7, 8 times 1 is 8. So did I get the same number as that? 87,792. Yes, these numbers are the same. This number is the same as this number. So therefore, my answer is correct. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I hope this is helpful. See you later.